Hi, my name is Mike Deming. I'm from Charter Oak Acoustic Devices and I'm here at Cosmic Sound in Perth, Australia, uh, where we're going to talk a little bit about our signal processor line and our line of microphone products. A little history about the company. Um, I spent over 20 years producing and engineering in studios, usually 300 days a year on average. And uh, as I was winding down that part of my career, I decided to start the manufacturing company and try to bring to market devices that were always that were things that I always wanted to have as a producer and engineer and, and really couldn't get. I was always trying to patch the things together for myself at the patch bay or I just you know compromised and, and, and just really couldn't get what I wanted out of certain things. On the signal processing side number one was having a transparent and artifact free compressor across my stereo bus. You know compression unfortunately in most cases comes with a lot of compromises uh, artifacts like pumping gasping audible rush up high-end roll-off that results in the collapse of your stereo image uh, all of these things so when we set out to build the SCL1 we took each one of these problems and tried to address them one at a time and uh, we succeeded in bringing to market a compressor which is completely free of compression artifacts but nevertheless is not entirely neutral and gives the feeling of really high-end analog electronics uh, you know a really nice sound across your bus. Uh, the, the PEQ1 program equalizer was inspired by my need for a true stereo phase shift free tone control. There's no other equalizer like it on the market. Um, there's a lot of parametric EQs, there's a lot of different proportional Q equalizers and so forth, but uh, you know, we, we identified a real need for an equalizer that could be put across your mix bus uh, and used to make really uh, musical um, enhancements to, to your mix without any distortion or, or, or phase shift. Um, uh, this equalizer is, is an equalizer where you can spend five minutes and turn a couple of knobs and find yourself making a hundred percent improvement of a mix that already sounds good. So it's, it's, it's really special. Uh, the, the dual microphone preamplifier that you see here is a, a new product. Uh, we probably won't ship it for another couple of months. But again, it includes features that uh, I was always having to patch together uh, at the patch bay to, to, to achieve what I wanted to, to achieve. Here we've, we've, we, you have a, a very clean transformerless input stage coupled with a, an output stage which is driving an output transformer. So you can achieve a really clean sound by using a lot of input gain and less output gain and then vice versa. You can have a more colored sound by using less input and more output. And then, uh, you know, I included a high pass and low pass filter that encompasses the whole bandwidth of the device. You have on each channel a high pass from 10 hertz to 100 hertz and then a low pass from 10k to 100k and it's uh, 12 dB per octave. Those of course are fully bypassable and you know the unit has the, the typical features you would see on a high-end mic pre, you know, phase uh, flip, 48 volt. It, it, it also functions, functions as a line amplifier and you have a 6 dB pad. So as we work our way through the signal processing line and bringing more products to market, uh, in, you know, in that, in, in that department, you know, all of these designs are, are things that I always wanted to have as an engineer and producer, but really had trouble getting. Uh, my studio was filled with, you know, tens of thousands of dollars worth of compressors, and I really was never, never able to get anything that functions quite like this. So uh, what you see behind me is uh, the better part of our microphone line. My philosophy and my thinking as it relates to the microphone line really is the same thing. Um, you know, for 20 years, every microphone I pulled out of my locker uh, involved me reaching for an equalizer in the end. Uh, I was always trying to, uh, you know, bring to life or to enhance uh, the sound that I was getting out of just about every mic I, I would pick and uh, you know that inspired me to try to you know design microphones that were flattering rather than flat 
And uh, that presents a lot of challenges in terms of the engineering. You know, they, you, you have to do that without making them sound harsh. You know, and at the same time, we wanted them to have really robust build quality so that we could provide a lifetime warranty, you know, and, um, you know, make them uh, practical in terms of the price. You know, that's a, a major criteria. You know, we're, we're trying to make these things accessible to more people. Um, you know, if only two or three people in the world can afford it, then, uh, you know, it really, we're not really uh, accomplishing anything. Uh, what we need to do is create uh, items, you know, d um, items like this that have incredibly uh, good audio performance, but uh, bring them to market at a price at a price which allows a lot of people to be able to have access to it. So uh, that's pretty much, you know, where we're at today. You know, we, uh, as I said, we started in 2004. And by 2005, we had uh, enough. Uh, we had two or three products, and we uh, brought those products to Barcelona AES. That was our very first exhibit, and uh, the rest is history. We continue to grow the product line, and uh, now we have representation all over the world, and people are starting to really, you know, become uh, familiar with uh, the Charter Oak sound. So, uh, you know, we're all happy with how things are going.